يعطيكم العافية أنا الطالب اللي بنحسن الآن رح نحكي عن Structural Recognition of Triple Stranded DNA by Surface Enhanced Raman Spectroscopy First, Triple Stranded DNA is a DNA structure in which the oligonucleotides wind around each other and form a triple helix Second, Surface Enhanced Raman Spectroscopy is a surface sensitive technique that enhances Raman scattering by molecules adsorbed on rough metal surfaces or by nanostructures such as plasmonic magnetic silica nanotubes. Now as an introduction, why this article is important. This article reports for the first time the structural identification of DNA triplex structures. This class of nucleic acids has been attracting great interest because of their intriguing biological functions and pharmacological potential in gene therapy and the ability for precisely engineering DNA-based functional nanomaterial. The polymorphic nature of DNA enables the adoption of a diverse range of structural arrangements beyond the right-handed B-form duplex, including non-canonical structures such as G, quadruplexes, triplexes, and I motifs. These structures have been shown to participate in multiple biological processes and remarkably, their forming sequences have been recognized as sources of genetic instability contributing to human diseases and genetic disorders. Among non-canonical conformations, triplex structure have attracted great interest. Structurally speaking, triplex nucleic acids can be classified as intramolecular structures that are naturally occurring at DNA regions containing homopurine and homopyrimidine segments with mirror repeat symmetry or intramolecular multi-strand assemblies resulting from the binding of a triplex forming oligonucleotide to a target duplex structure. Hookstein hydrogen bonds positioning in the major group of the duplex. These variables include the solution pH and the presence of divalent cations or naturally occurring polyamines which can act as triplex stabilizers by reducing the extent of electrostatic repulsion between the phosphate backbones. This enabled the application of SIRS as an ultra-sensitive analytical approach for the structural characterization of molecular species as well as sensing tool for their detection and quantification. However, while the use of SIRS in indirect approaches for nucleic acid Sensing has been extensively dealt with in the literature. It's widely used as an ultra-sensitive analytical tool for this class of biomolecules via the acquisition of their intrinsic stars. Vibrational fingerprinting has been traditionally far less explored until relatively recently. Our group devised a novel approach based on the use of positively charged silver colloids as plasmonic enhancers which successfully tackled prior issues associated with the reproducible acquisition of reliable cells, spectra of nucleic acids at low concentrations. To the best of our knowledge, only two articles from 1996 reported the acquisition of triplex cells spectra, specifically from RNA triple helices adsorbed on silver electrodes. However, the illustrated cells data display spectral profiles with no actual resemblance to the characteristic vibrational patterns on nucleic acids. This incongruence was later elucidated by noting the striking correspondence of these anomalous spectra to the cells of methyl diologen, a molecule commonly used in electrochemistry such as for electrographing, which has been indicated as the actual source of the intense signal cells spectroscopy. Now we will talk about materials and methods, synthesis of positively charged silver colloids and cells measurements, instrumentation, results and discussion. Materials. Subsequently, DNA samples were diluted to 40 micrometer and triplex buffer. Duplex formation was achieved by heating to 90 Celsius for 10 minutes an equimolar solution of complementary strands and triplex buffer. Synthesis of positively charged silver colloids and cell measurements. Synthesis of positively charged spermine coated silver nanoparticles, AGSP, 
was carried out as previously reported to prevent the adhesion of AGSP nanoparticles onto glass surfaces vials were previously coated with polyethylamine. all DNA samples were previously diluted to 20 micrometers with their corresponding solvent. Instrumentation Scanning UV vest spectra were obtained using a thermoscientific evolution 201 UV visible spectrophotometer. Their spectra were obtained using a Rene Show in the Reflex Confocal Microscope equipped with a 514 nanometers laser. A lens for microsampling was employed to focus the laser onto the sample. Results and discussion. The plasmonic substrate for cells characterization of nucleic acids consists of colloidal spermine coated silver nanoparticles with a narrow LSBR centered at CA. Polyamonic spermine molecules adsorbed onto the silver surface impart an overall positive charge to the silver nanostructures. Now this is figure 1. In figure 1, A represents extinction spectrum of spearing coated silver colloids before and 3 hours after the addition of 0.9 microliter of triplex buffer or a 20 micrometer solution of D1-D2 duplex and triplex buffer. B represents surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy spectrum of AGSP upon addition of 0.9 microliters of triplex buffer. The triplex construct was obtained by combining an equimolar amount of TFO and D1-D2 duplex for 24 hours at 4 Celsius. In fact, while generating very stable structures, triplex formation is kinetically much slower than duplex annealing. Identical volumes of DNA containing triplex buffers of the different samples were added to AGSP colloids. Representative transmission electron microscopy images of the AGSP colloids upon addition of either triplex buffer or D1-D2 and triplex buffer provide complementary qualitative evidence of the different degree of aggregation underwound by the nanoparticles. To this end, digital subtraction between spectra is carried out using the PO2. In our specific case, since duplex and triplex structures possess different molar content of phosphate groups, the intensity of their corresponding cell spectra was proportionally adjusted to the peak height of the CA. This allows extracting a different spectrum D1-D2, TFO-D1-D2, which primarily represents the vibrational pattern of TFO in the triplex structures and thus can be meaningfully compared to the stress profile of the unbound TFO strand. Now we have figure 2. In figure 2, A represents outline of the intermolecular triplex formation and corresponding oligonucleotide sequences, where dot and dash indicates Hoogstein and watson craig base bearings, respectively, and set chemical structure of a parallel T.AT triplet. B shows the corresponding SERS spectra. Typically, different spectroscopy is applied to both Raman and SERS analysis of nucleic acid to better expose the spectral differences emerging from the complex vibrational patterns of these large biomolecules. In these figures, for the sake of a better comparison, the intensities of the spectra were arbitrarily modified in each of these three figures. This is figure 3. In summary, structural discrimination of the triplex structure against its duplex and tertiary strand counterparts is unambiguously revealed by recognizing key markers bands and their intrinsic source fingerprints. As a conclusion, structural discrimination of the triplex structure against its duplex and tertiary strand counterparts is unambiguously revealed by recognizing key markers, bands, and their intrinsic series fingerprints. These vibrational features are informative of the PE stacking, Hoogstein hydrogen bonding, and sugar phosphate backbone recognition associated with the triple helix formation.